Hey guys, today I want to give you some tips on Tough Mudder so that you can actually make the race a little bit easier for yourself. And if you've never done it before, maybe some of these things will help you. So I'm going to run through a whole list of things. Now we've got all the videos of the individual obstacles actually on YouTube in separate individual videos. And they have tips on how to do the individual obstacles. These are just more like general tips that can kind of help you through the race. So the first tip is your calves are going to get absolutely killed during this race. And it's kind of a surprising thing to hear, but, uh, you know, you're not just from running, but actually doing the obstacles. So if you can wear compression socks or long socks, actually your, your calves will thank you by the end of it. So that's tip number one, wear compression socks. Uh, tip number two, uh, you know, it's a 12 mile race. There actually is a rest stations about every three to four miles. They have water, they've got bananas and oranges, they've got porta potties. So, you know, you can count on having that ability to rest. Very few people actually run through the entire race all 12 miles, either because you have to wait when you get to the obstacles or just because, you know, you're with a group and not everybody wants to run the whole time. So you don't have to worry about the endurance factor of the actual being able to run 12 miles because, you know, every quarter mile sometimes to half mile or three quarter mile, you've got an obstacle to break it up. So there really isn't a lot of long distance running and you can count on those rest stations. In terms of training for the race, uh, you're going to need a lot of upper body strength for some of the obstacles like the monkey bars, pushing, pulling yourself over the Berlin walls, things like that. So you certainly want to train your upper body, your chest, your shoulders, uh, you know, biceps, try to, things like that. Uh, outside of that, I would really strongly recommend, again, that you do train your calves. Um, that's going to be real important uh, to have those calves in shape. And obviously, you know, you want to do some running. You want to have some cardiovascular endurance. So you've got to be at least able to run a few miles. Um, you know, if you can run a 5K, this race should give you no problem whatsoever. Um, in terms of being able to rest throughout the course, there are going to be bottlenecks, particularly at that twinkle toes balance beam obstacle. You know, that's a wait of about 10, possibly even 20 minutes, depending on which day you do this race. So uh, there are some bottlenecks in which you can race and some other obstacles as well, too. Um, I'd really recommend you bring a camera, a waterproof camera, like, you know, the Kodak PlaySport camera that's a video camera. Um, we use that to film all the obstacles that we have on, the, on our uh, YouTube site, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's other cameras as well, too. I believe the GoPro, GoPro camera you can attach to your head, and that works out well. So that's pretty cool. I, I think you'd want to film that and, and have that, uh, you know, to relive over and over again. Uh, in terms of spectators, you know, it does cost money for the spectator to, to to, to go about 20 bucks on average and uh, really you know they can walk kind of through the course because the course is you know kind of around the outside ring of wherever you're at but you know how are they going to know really where to find you that's kind of a difficult thing um, you know they basically end up you know being there for three or so hours and they're kind of there at the beginning at the end but they don't really know where you're at on the course so you know, the race is not really that hard unless it's someone that's elderly or, you know, has some sort of an injury. They just can't do it. I would I would recommend they just do the race as well with you. So it's really not that bad. Um, I would recommend that you bring gloves. An old pair of workout gloves would be great. They'd help you on the monkey bars. They'd help you on the Berlin walls. They'd help you on a bunch of obstacles that you need, like the cargo nets when you're climbing up. Those gloves really would come in handy. Um, you want to be careful when you're going through the mud that you don't lose a shoe. Make sure your shoes are tied, you know, tight, not enough to cut off your circulation, but you definitely want them tied. And when you go into the mud, point your toes first into the mud, not your heels, because that's the quickest way for you to lose a shoe. So point your toe into the mud first. Um, really the biggest tip I can give you in terms of, of making it through this race, I didn't find any one obstacle was really that hard. I enjoyed the obstacles. I enjoyed the camaraderie with the group. Uh, it's just trying to avoid injury. And the point on there is you want to be, you can go fast, but just be cautious and don't be stupid. Because I've seen guys that are in fantastic shape, phenomenal guys that are absolutely ripped. You pull a calf muscle, you're done. You can't go on. You know, on the Berlin walls, you've got two sets of obstacles that are, one's a short wall, one's a high wall later on in the course. When you go over that second wall, if you're not paying attention, that drop is bigger than you think. You know, there you go. All of a sudden, you twisted a knee. I mean, we saw it happen. Uh, you know, a guy twisted a knee. He got carted off the race straight like that. So, you know, you've got to make sure that, you know, you... Um, are avoiding an injury. And if you can do that, you can survive. A lot of times when you're going through water, obstacles that have water on top, there's holes that you don't see in the course. And I know one time when I was carrying the log, uh, you know, um, down here in Tampa, you carried a log, you're walking through the water just fine. All of a sudden there's a hole, my foot slips in it, my calf fires, 
the dang thing almost pools. I had to sit there for like five minutes in the water, couldn't move. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to continue, but you know, you just say a prayer and hopefully God lets you to continue. So uh, if you can avoid injury, you can definitely make it through the race. But like I said, you know, go fast, but just be cautious and not stupid. I find it's a lot more fun when you do it as a group. If you can get five or so people or four or five people to do it with you, you know, or more, uh, it's a, it's a great deal of fun. And, and so maybe you don't run the whole thing, you know, on eight, eight minute miles or something like that, but you know, you have a lot more fun if you do it as a group and you're all helping each other and it's pretty cool. In terms of that continuous running, like I said, there's a lot of opportunity for walking with the group or waiting at the obstacles. So you, it's not like you're running a full 12 miles, it's certainly not a marathon here. Um, and then uh, another tip, you know, if you want to smuggle in some food, you know, like me, I got to have food, you know, every couple hours. And I, you know, if you're not, you know, wanting the banana or something like that, you can actually bring a little fanny pack. Um, if you put, you know, dry socks in there, you could put, um, you know, I had a friend that put peanut butter jelly sandwiches in his. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I had to put a power bar in there or something like that. But certainly you can do that. It won't weigh you down at all. It's pretty, pretty small and it's not really a big deal. We have a video about that as well, too, and one on the sandwiches. Um, but the biggest tip that I can give you is, you know, just have fun. You know, it's not a timed race. It's, you're designed to be out there with the group and, and really enjoy it. You know, try to complete every obstacle if you can. Uh, I, I got 28 or 29 last time. I missed that damn balance beam. So you got to go slow over that. But just enjoy yourself and you can have a great time. And it certainly is very doable. Uh, even if you've never done something like this before, you can do it, especially if you're with a group. So if you want to learn about tips for the individual obstacles themselves, we actually have individual videos for that on this same site that you can do. All right, my friends. So I'm happy to help you out and we'll see you next year at one of the Tough Mudders. Thank you.